the Super Smash Brothers series is a series that means a lot to me. Unique take. I've loved this series ever since my first entry, which was technically Brawl, even though I played a bit of Melee beforehand at a friend's house. Brawl, I really wanted because I did not like Pokemon a lot at the time, and I found out in that game you could beat up Pikachu. That was amazing. But I loved the gameplay so much. It was so fun, and just all the stages you could play on, and all the different characters you could try out. But then in addition to it, just all of the extra things, like the stuff that never even mattered, the chronicle, stage builder, masterpieces, stickers, trophies, all of that stuff, it just made Smash Brothers Smash Brothers, where it just felt like this is an important title. Not just in the fact that this is a really good game, but also just how it treated all the franchises that were involved in the game. Crossovers generally have this weird garish feeling to them where it's just like these things don't feel like they belong together Even things that initially feel like they make sense coming together a lot of times they don't mesh very well Where while with Smash Brothers it never really feels like that even characters that feel really out of place you know, like snake and brawl ends up feeling like you know what? This works, they make it work, and that's something that seems so seamless, where you just, you look at it in the game and you're like, this makes sense. But there's so much more effort that goes into it that goes unnoticed. There is so much work put into every character's inclusion. And without a director like Sakurai, I don't think that would have happened. There are so many, so many amazing developers in the industry but there's only one Masahiro Sakurai. And so many other of Nintendo's initial franchise creators, people that have created franchises, they direct the first few entries, and then they kind of move on to more of a supervisor, producer type role. But Sakurai has been the director for every single Smash Brothers game up until this point. That says something. That says that he really just always wants to be at the helm for this series. He wasn't even the director for all the Kirby games. He left the Kirby series pretty early on. But with Smash Brothers, it kind of feels like he knows that he is the one to make this series. He knows how to make it. And while other people, I think, would still do a fantastic job, there's a certain skill that Sakurai has in terms of just bringing all of this together and directing all of these amazing people to create such a special product. There is nothing like Smash Brothers in any media. Like any other crossover type events, like big crossovers, they're not on this level. You know, you have the biggest video game company with the craziest IPs with Nintendo, and then you have all of these third-party uh, third developers on board on top of that. That says something. That is a massive event that I don't think any other crossover in any other form of media can say they've accomplished. And I think without Sakurai, we wouldn't be at this point. Super Smash Brothers is such a special franchise to me. It is one of my favorite video game franchises of all time. And for me, that goes all the way back to Smash on N64. That was, for me, my first fighting game that I ever owned and got super obsessed with. But the thing that really made that game special was how much it introduced me to characters and franchises that I wasn't familiar with prior to that. At the time, as a kid, I'd only known Mario and Pikachu. And Smash was my gateway into things like Link from Zelda, Samus from Metroid, Ness from Earthbound, Captain, Captain Falcon, and a bunch of other characters and that for me continued through the legacy of the series uh, super smash brothers brawl is another special one for me as well not only because of that similar factor but then also things like Subsp subspace emissary which saw characters come together and interact i love seeing link team up with yoshi or samus team up with pikachu um super smash brothers for me is a franchise that is all about special moments and that even continues now. Uh, we just got that Sora reveal and that was something that was so special for so many of us. And that's the magic of Smash Brothers. While my first experience with Smash Brothers was through the initial Smash 64 con uh, commercial, the one where they had them all in costumes and fighting each other, and that is incredibly memorable, Smash Brothers stands out to me as an education in video games, especially with Melee, the trophies, and the way it pushed me to want to collect them all. I never played any game as much as I did that one up to that point, just that I, you know, no, no fighting game, especially because 
I wanted to see every trophy. I wanted to read everything I could about these other characters. And it's how I was introduced to a lot that I had never heard of before. It's how I first heard about Pit. It's how I first heard about Doshin the Giant. It's how I learned, first learned about Famicom Detective Club and all these other games. I had no idea who they were before. Like I played as a few of them in 60, Smash 64, but I didn't know what a Captain Falcon was. I didn't know what a Ness was. I kind of got it through word of mouth. I was like, oh, he's from this thing called Earthbound. Or, okay, well, what's Earthbound? And then the trophies gave me that education. I love how Smash Brothers became this source, this way of people discovering other games. It happened with Fire Emblem, it's happened with tons of DLC characters that we've gotten through Ultimate, where people were like, who's Terry Bogard? What's Fatal Fury? What's King of Fighters? What's SNK? And learning more about them. And that's the true value of Smash Brothers to me. The game is fun, undoubtedly. It is a celebration of gaming to be, to be sure. But it's the educational value. It's the way to encourage gamers to check out these series they might not have before or might not have any interest in. It's like, oh, this character's really fun to play or really interesting. I need to take a look at that. And that, that was invaluable, especially back in the Melee days when the internet wasn't as readily available. This was my first introduction to a lot of this stuff and encouraged me to like, oh yeah, I know that game. I want to check this out. It's why I picked up Fire Emblem on Game Boy Advance when it first came out because I knew it from Smash. I was like, well, I got to check out where it came from. I got to I got to know what this is all about. That's why I picked up F-Zero GX on the GameCube. It's I, I wanted to know about these games. And I think that was only possible because of the love and care and attention that Sakurai and his team always put into it. Uh, they made sure the characters played like the, their characters. They represented them as best as they can, could, even if they had to make up moves like with Fox and Captain Falcon. It still, still felt true to that character or became yeah, like it felt like it was true to that character and just how they expanded upon it and just made it work. I love what this series has done for the gaming community. It has widened our breadth of knowledge. It has gotten us interested in genres that we might not have otherwise and all from ostensibly a party fighting game. The mechanics have gotten more deep. Uh, there's all kinds of gimmicks, but that educational value, that primer, if you play one game from every series represented in Smash Brothers, you have a solid base for the history of video games. That's incredible. I started with 64. My favorite was Ness, and my best friend's favorite was Captain Falcon, and neither of us knew who they were, but I never owned it myself. I wanted a GameCube for the sequel. I think Melee was the first all-nighter that I ever spent with a video game, and I didn't even have friends to play it with, which... I'd bounce between adventure mode trying to do better each time, then I'd go to the home run contest for hours of attempts at it because it was so addicting. Uh, then I'd go and try to get more break the target stages cleared, figure those out because they were like puzzles. And then I would just go from that to whatever I needed to do to unlock more trophies because collecting them was so fun and I'd get to learn all about these games I'd never seen before. When it came time for Brawl, I went to a midnight opening and it was all I played for several months. I could say a lot about what it was like to see third-party characters for the first time in a game, and anything feeling possible once Sonic was in there, but I felt it was poetic that they ended on Sora, with him being the most popular request from the Smash Ballot. Ultimate was a game of wish fulfillment, and it ended on the ultimate wish. As we close the end of the Smash hype cycle with the reveal of Sora, which I, I still can't believe, this is stuff that we might genuinely never see again like literally we might never get a game like this just ever you know there's a lot of fighting games i love i grew up on so many game fighting games like whether it's like street fighter or or tekken or uh, mvc or all these types of crossover stuff but like there's something about the smash crossover that just hits different and i think what made it so cool was constantly seeing the barriers break i think that was such a big deal because obviously we start with the original where you know it's just it's nintendo characters and you're already like that's awesome but then to have the expansion or when we go up to brawl where we just see snake and the floodgates open a bit right just a little bit right and then you're like okay we got sonic in there you know and we start getting some of the icons but then you get characters like pac-man you get characters like cloud you get characters like mega man where you're just like okay 
okay, like now we are entering the sky is the limit. And every time someone thought there was some sort of limitation, aside from the obvious Goku choice, which isn't happening because it's anime, any video game character I genuinely think had a shot of getting in. There's there's so many things I can gush about with Smash. There's so many characters I love. The franchise just means so much to me. I, I think I can pinpoint every place I was in my life when I was playing a Smash game. And it's just, the, the series is hype. And, I, and I'm so thankful, especially, very especially for the Smash 4 Smash Ultimate cycle, which I would call the modern transition of what a hype cycle for a character reveal could be. It really did change how reveals are almost done, I find, for a lot of fighting games. It's just, it's so special. I know we all take it for granted, you know, because we're in the heat of the moment, we're living it, but it, it is really gonna be something we look back on in like 10, 20 years and be like, that was crazy. I really do think Smash Ultimate is something we will never see again, but I was so happy to live it and I'm so thankful for it. So I love Smash Bros. You also love Smash Bros. I know it as much as you. Thank you, Masahiro Sakurai. Now, I think it's obvious now the hashtag thank you, Sakurai. It, it couldn't be any more deserved, man. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, that will always be a very special game. The amount of representation across the entire video game industry cannot be understated. We've probably all seen that accolades video at the end of the very finals presentation with Sora. And man, all the characters, all the music tracks, all the spirits, all the stages, all the items, it's ridiculous. And I will always be appreciative of that and the fact that for three plus years, man, I think even since Brawl, just every little announcement from something as small as an item to something as big as a third party character joining the fray, it just brought the internet together, whether it be rage sometimes or a lot of times, very, very much super excitement. To me, the most exciting moment of the entire Super Smash Bros. Ultimate timeline is Banjo, man. Seeing Banjo come back to a Nintendo console with a bunch of remixed tracks and the stage was beautiful. I love how he plays in the game. That sort of love and attention it's just, I, I, that's the most I appreciate out of anything Sakurai's done for Smash, in all honesty. I don't even think we would get Banjo on the 64 online service if it wasn't for the partnership that he had with Banjo for Smash. So, yeah, I obviously, I love the game. Thank you so much, Sakurai, for everything you've done, but I'm a, I'm a Banjo fanboy, so this is where my love lies. Thank you, Sakurai, for doing everything that you've done, bringing Smash into my life, bringing Kirby into my life. Thank you so much for molding my childhood and for working so hard. Kirby and I, we really appreciate it. At E3 2011, it was confirmed that Smash Bros was getting its next installment on Wii U and 3DS. And over the last 10 years, I have made so many fond memories, speculating, playing, and getting hyped for one of the greatest series in video game history. I can remember where I was in my life for each new character reveal, each new direct, because every single announcement, regardless of who it was, was so exciting to witness. It doesn't matter if I was a weird annoying 13 year old or a weird annoying 21 year old, Smash Brothers continued to surprise and introduce me to new franchises I never would have checked out if it wasn't for Smash. And I doubt that's something which is exclusive to me. You've given so many people positive and cherishable memories. And without a doubt, you deserve the utmost appreciation for making so many people smile. Where do I even begin? Super Smash Brothers has been sort of a, a focal point of community for me it feels like almost my entire life i mean i made friends all through school around playing this game with large groups of people in a in a in a just a fun and casual setting i i got to love nintendo and nintendo's characters and games more through super smash brothers I got to meet some incredible people through the competitive Super Smash Brothers scene. And even after I've left that scene, there's just this joy that comes every time some little tiny new thing sparks more discussion around Super Smash Brothers. And that's grown past just being a love letter to Nintendo, but a love letter to classic gaming in general. Super Smash Brothers. For two decades now, Sakurai and his teams from HAL, or Sora Limited, or Bandai Namco have worked endlessly to bring us what we have today. This is the culmination, Smash Bros. Ultimate. Everyone is here, and then some. I'm sure, like many of you, uh, when I first played Melee, I wasn't familiar with many of the franchises in there. I knew Mario, I knew Zelda, and I knew Pokemon. But through Melee, I'll discover Earthbound, and Fire Emblem, and Metroid, and F-Zero, and Ice Climber, and as the series would grow with Brawl and Smash for Wii U and 3DS, 
I'd come to eventually play everything they have they had to throw at us. Every stage and character I have a game for now. And that's that's a really cool feeling to feel like I've been part of this history. I'm not sure I would if it weren't for Smash. Uh, and more than that, it's just so fun to play. They've taken all these iterations worth of mechanics and just shine them to a shimmering gleam. So thank you Sakurai and everyone who's ever worked on Smash before, at Bandai Namco or Sora or HAL in the past. It's just been a wild ride. Um, there's not going to be anything like this ever again in the industry. Not like Ultimate. This is just the culmination of everything. Thank you, Sakurai, for Super Smash Brothers, one of my all-time favorite games and just an incredible accomplishment. It has meant a lot to me over the past 20 years. It has been the game that I put hundreds, if not thousands, of hours into. And I just don't think we're ever going to be able to match the roster that you've been able to put together. Thank you for this amazing celebration of video games and for just this wonderful, wonderful roster. Hello everyone, it's Will, or as many of you know me as, Push Dustin. Since 2014, I've been translating and compiling Smash Bros. information on the internet. Smash Bros. Ultimate is basically a fanboy's dream come true. It is truly amazing what this game has to offer. And I want to congratulate the people at Bandai Namco, the people at Nintendo, and of course Monster Hero Sakurai for bringing all of this insane collaboration together. It is truly special bringing back every single character and then introducing so many fan favorites like Banjo-Kazooie, Sora, and Terry. It has been an incredible journey watching the character reveals, uh, being part of the community, and just enjoying the hype that has been shared with everyone. Smash Bros. Ultimate is truly a once-in-a-lifetime type of game. And I'm so happy that I've been able to be a part of that with you guys. I've been playing Super Smash Brothers since I was eh, maybe six or seven years old. Uh, I first played it at my cousin's house, and I immediately fell in love with it. I remember the only reason I wanted to play it is because it had Mario and Pikachu on the cover. <laughs> and that was the initial draw for Super Smash Brothers for me, was just that it was this collection of characters that I really enjoyed. But I think more importantly is that it was a collection of characters that I didn't know. I was familiar with Mario, I was familiar with Link, and I was familiar with Pikachu, but I'd never heard of Kirby, I'd never heard of Samus, it introduced me to those characters. And because of that, now I play their games, so I've got uh, Metroid Dread Special Edition, and, you know, if I had never played Smash Brothers, I don't, I don't know that I would have even gotten involved with that series. I want to thank you, Mr. Sakurai, for not only making a game that I personally really love, but also introducing me to a bunch of other characters and other worlds that I came to love too. But I think even more important than that is the fact that over the years Super Smash Brothers has been kind of that icebreaker slash connective tissue between me and a lot of the friends I've made. I remember my first day of college, uh, me and my best friend Paul ended up going to the same school. I remember being at the dining commons table with a bunch of people that I didn't know. Out of the blue I just decided to ask do you guys play Smash Brothers? And the whole table lit up. Like, everybody at that table played Smash Brothers. So, right after we got out of the dining commons, we all went back to one of our dorms, and we fired up Super Smash Brothers Brawl, and we just had a, a, a great time. Over the course of the next couple of years, we, we played Smash almost daily. Whether it was Brawl, uh, or Melee, we, we spent a whole lot of time playing Smash Brothers. And for a lot of those folks, uh, eventually I ended up not going to that school anymore. I ended up continuing my relationships with those folks, weirdly enough, I was invited to a tournament they were gonna have for Smash 4. This college was four hours away, and then I ended up in the hospital being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes for the first time. But I remember being in the hospital bed, and the whole time, I just wish I was there playing Smash with my friends. It really does mean a lot to me. Smash Ultimate's one of the best things that's ever happened. <laughs> if you ask me, I got a lot of the characters that I truly earnestly love, like uh, Banjo-Kazooie, um, I was really hopeful for Palutena with Smash 4, and that came true, and Sora, and it ended up happening, so thank you so much, Mr. Sakurai, and your team, everyone who's been involved with Super Smash Brothers, thank you so much. Sakurai added Sans Undertale, and Minecraft Steve, and Sora to Smash Bros. What else do I need to say? Game developer of the decade. Thank you, Sakurai, for making such an exciting game, not just an exciting game, but just an exciting time for video games in general. We all really appreciate it, even if you're not much of a fan of Smash Bros, as I'm not really the biggest fan myself, but just everything that you've done for that game has been just such a fun time to watch, so. 
you know, Smash Brothers as a franchise is more than just a series of games. It's really a celebration of video games. Smash Ultimate, uh, the naming convention of that is uh, appropriate because it's the... Um, it's the culmination of, uh, you know, just a, a series of celebrations about this medium that we love. I mean, find me another video game in which you can uh, throw Mario, Solid Snake, uh, Charizard, and Cloud, uh, you know, into an arena and have them duel it out. There's really never been anything like it. Various developers have tried to uh, copy the formula with their own franchises and their own games, but it's it's never just the same. It's, um, you know, what Sakurai has done is quite simply create magic. One of the great things about the Smash franchise is you can feel Sakurai's love of this medium uh, ooze out of every facet of, this, uh, of, of these games uh, from, you know, the way that, you know, characters are just articulated perfectly to uh, the way that they reference certain events and um, and occurrences in their respective franchises. You can feel the, the time and love poured into each and every single facet of Smash Brothers. Sakurai himself his, is just one of the greatest visionaries this medium has ever seen. Whatever comes for for Smash next, whether or not this is the last one or whether or not we'll see um, more to the franchise in the years to come, we all owe Sakurai a debt of gratitude. Um, just a, a huge thank you for everything he has done for this industry. Everything he's done for the medium of video games. Uh, and I hope that Sakurai, I hope that you take uh, a very long, very well-deserved vacation. This is what video games is all about. Smash Brothers is what video games uh, is all about. And we have you to thank for it, Sakurai. So thank you again for everything you've done. Uh, I, I can't believe we're not going to see Sakurai smiling on screen again, uh, telling us the mechanics of the brand new character he's just announced or talking about the, you know, the, the brand new uh, me costumes that you can download. Um, I, I'm really going to miss that. I'm going to miss so much about Smash Brothers. Um, not just the game, but Sakurai himself. Thank you, Sakurai, for doing a crossover series that has been beloved and cherished for 22 years. It means a lot to me and so many others to see so many iconic characters coming together in some sort of fashion. And you've managed to pull it off in so many different ways, constantly outdoing yourself game after game. I'm really happy to say that I'm a fan and I hope to see more games from you in the future. So Smash Bros. originally for me, uh, since the N64 game, was all the hype and world because it was your your favorite Nintendo characters duking it out in like a four player, you know, slamboree, slam fest, whatever the commercial described it as. And for years, that was the main reason to get excited for it. But starting with Smash Bros. Brawl, when they started introducing third party characters, starting with Solid Snake and then eventually Sonic, that was like, that was super mind opening for me. It's like, oh my goodness, they are bringing in everybody now. Like anything goes. Who who knows who we might expect and that element right there is been one of the biggest you know sources of joy for me throughout smash brothers history you know, sonic being re revealed for brawl was like all the fucking excitement in the world then uh for me personally cloud strife being in smash brothers 4 and then <laughs> oh my god when simon belmont was revealed for smash brothers ultimate after years of requests and wondering Will they get a Belmont, a Castlevania representative in Smash Brothers next time, I wonder, and to finally see him in action? And then later, Richter being announced on top of that was just intoxicating. And it is one of my fondest memories I have with Smash. And now I have something to look back and smile upon on top of the already spectacular gameplay whether i'm doing 1v1s online with friends or if i'm just doing free-for-alls with like no no holds barred anything goes that is always one of my favorite things about smash brothers and i really have sakurai and his wonderful team throughout the years to thank for that because smash brothers is one of my favorite franchises of all time and it will be for years decades the rest of my life basically and i, I can't get enough of it Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is truly a once-in-a-lifetime type of video game, and I feel so grateful that I got to live in the era in which this game was being developed, and I got to experience this hype cycle live. The fact that there is now a video game in which Sora from Kingdom Hearts can fight Banjo-Kazooie on a stage based on Minecraft is just unbelievable. I mean, the sheer amount of characters in this, Pyra and Mithra, Sephiroth, King K. Rool, characters I never thought were possible, 
all came together for a crossover that I honestly don't think will ever be replicated. I really don't think there will ever be another video game crossover of the magnitude of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in my lifetime. I feel so unbelievably grateful to have lived during the golden era of Smash. Smash, where to even begin talking about Super Smash Bros. It's such an important game. It's for me, it's for people all over the world. It has brought us so many memorable moments, historical moments for this medium. They're not gonna stay in our memory forever. We probably all shared so many moments with this game and playing with friends, meeting new friends, connecting to new people, excited for new reveals of, uh, for this game. Is it a new stage, a new song, a new character? What is it going to be? Any kind of insight in its development. It has been such a long journey, the whole Smash series. And we really can't thank you enough, Mr. Sakurai, for everything that you have done, everything you and all the teams that have worked with you have done for us in this whole series. Here uh, in Brazil, it was always very hard to follow hardware and software games uh, in general, uh, Nintendo specifically. A lot of people here had to rely on, you know, piracy, not by our own choice, but it's because it was the only way. You either do that or you didn't have games done. So as I grew up, I was at high school and I always wanted to work with art, design, game design. So I made a promise to myself to never buy a pirated copy of a game again. The first game that I bought, Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii, and I played this a lot. This is one of my favorite things ever. What I admire in Sakurai, because he's an inspiration for me, one of the directors, game designers that I look up to, it's because he's not only a director, a producer, a game designer, he's also a player. He's a player like us. He admires, he has passion for playing, for admiring what goes into the craft of making a game, for the fun of it, for the play of it. We kind of share the same love for gaming, from all generations, from all platforms. We'll never forget everything that you have done. Looking back, I honestly don't think I would have become a graphic artist or even know half of the people that I do know today if it wasn't for Super Smash Brothers. They're not just Smash players either, you know, they're friends, they're family, they're classmates, co-workers, colleagues, artists, content creators, just people who truly love and appreciate the pure art form that video games are, from the entertaining to the beautiful. Isn't that what Smash Brothers is all about? It brings everyone together, from the characters and the worlds down to the players that celebrate these franchises. Uh, it's allowed me to meet, be creative, and show passion for games in ways that I never would have expected. And I'll always be extremely grateful for everything that a once in a lifetime game such as Ultimate has given to us. And please, <laughs> take a nice long break, alright? Till we meet again. Uh, a lot of what I'm about to say might sound hyperbolic, but it is not. Super Smash Brothers has absolutely impacted my life and helped create who I am. It in so many ways taught me the legacy of Nintendo and video games and the importance of its history and the importance of going in and wanting to discover other video games that you might not experience, new genres that you would have never known about. I will never forget seeing Ness for the first time in Smash 64 or Roy and Marth in Melee and wondering who are they, where are they from, and the way that that game treated its itself and its industry with such reverence, having the trophies that you could collect, it was almost as fun as playing the game to be able to read these little snippets about random side characters in NES games that I had bought at a garage sale uh, when I was seven years old, or you know, eventually moving on and just games that I would only see on blockbuster shelves but never actually rent, but then now had an interest in renting because of what Smash Brothers uh, gave to us having this platform to not only have fun, but to learn. And I think that that's so key. There's so many memories of Smash that I, I think back on uh, fondly. And there are so many moments that have, have made me cry, that have brought me to tears for how emotionally connected I feel to, to this video game franchise, whether it's a character reveal or watching people's reactions to a character reveal or watching many people's reactions at the Nintendo World Store um, for the 17th time. And I'm going to continue to watch those videos for the rest of my life because it brings me back to a place of remembering that Japan time moment when Sonic the Hedgehog was revealed. It's real, it's actually happening all the way through to Sora, of course. I can't believe they were able to pull off what they did. I can't believe that Sakurai and his team have been able to iterate and nail every single addition to this franchise and just the love and care put into every new character from the moveset to the design, to the music, to the stage, all of that 
is what makes Smash Brothers special. And for that, I thank you, Sakurai. It would not be an understatement to say that the Super Smash Brothers series has changed my life. I've been very fortunate to meet and work with so many talented and amazing people over the years because of these games. You know, I've been playing them since 1999, back on my Nintendo 64, and starting in 2010, I actually played Super Smash Bros. Online with my friend Jughead every Friday night for almost 12 years now. So I've made great friends and I've been able to pursue so many opportunities because of these games. And they've inspired me so much and have created so many fond memories. You know, too, too many fond memories to choose from. I just, I don't, I have a hard time picking a, a, a favorite memory. So I can only imagine that if this game inspired me and celebrated the gaming industry as a whole, how many millions of other people out there that this game has inspired as well. So in the truest sense, thank you Masahiro Sakurai for providing so many great memories and for inspiring me to pursue my own dreams. We started playing Smash Brothers with the N64 and it's been such a wild ride getting to see all of our favorite characters make it onto the roster. Yes, thank you so much for all of your contribution, all of your hard work for all of these years. Um, if you ever find yourself in town, you always have a controller waiting for you and please go get some well-deserved sleep. Thank you, Sakurai! Thank you. The Super Smash Bros. series has affected so many of our lives. I, I can say for a fact that there are so many games and characters that I learned about thanks to that series because they just introduced them, because so many games out there potentially didn't get the attention that they deserved, like Earthbound, for example, with Ness. I always thought he was just this, this extra kid that they added in, but no, turns out he has his own game. Over the years, you've poured your life and soul, your <laughs> everything, everything that you have into this series. And I don't, I don't even know how to begin to thank you because you've done so much for us. You've changed so many lives. In Japan, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is known as Super Smash Brothers Special. And I can't think of a more fitting title for this game. Over the last several years, I've seen people from all walks of life get excited for a new character coming to Smash. I've seen people who normally argue rally around the idea of whoever the next big reveal would be for this game. And now that we're finally at the end of the road, I can truly see just how incredibly special this game ended up being. It's not just about who can win against who or which fighter or which character is the best. It's about bringing people, not characters, but people together. About taking people who have ever picked up a controller. If you've ever played a video game, there's a character that you love in Smash, and that unifies people in a, in a way that most games just can never manage to, and for that, I'm incredibly grateful. I've been playing games since the days of the original NES, and I was part of all those playground discussions of, could Mario beat Sonic, or is Snake more powerful than Samus? All of those debates, and we finally found an outlet for those. We finally found a way to celebrate all the characters we love in one place. Mr. Sakurai, I, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but if you do, I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for two things. One, for spoiling all of us like kids on Christmas. <laughs> Just giving us like almost everything that we could ever want, going so far beyond our e even reasonable expectations for what we might get. Uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just floored. It's been incredible. But more importantly, thank you for doing something so, just, just so incredibly special. Something so genuinely unique and special in, uh, I, I, I don't know, I, I'd say this is something special in gaming history. Smash Ultimate has been so unifying. It, it's brought together so many different fans and communities just from all over the world of video games, and, um, it's a celebration of games, the likes of which we've we've never seen. We have never seen anything like this before. It is impossible to overstate just how enormous an influence Super Smash Bros. has had on my life. I've been playing Smash ever since the original game back on Nintendo 64, and have made so many wonderful memories with friends, met so many new people, had so many great experiences thanks to Smash. And that was true back when it was just a Nintendo crossover fighting game. And that, back then, was like a dream come true. But everything changed with Brawl, and I, I'll never forget checking the Brawl Dojo website 
every single day, every single weekday for an update, wondering, is it going to be a new character, a new item, a new stage? Uh, but then everything changed when Solid Snake was revealed as the first third-party icon uh, to be added to the Smash roster. And then a little later after that, Sonic the Hedgehog. And I still remember what I was doing and where I was when those announcements happened. And uh, I actually met my wife back during the, the, the brawl dojo, the Smash Dojo hype phase. And I remember telling her uh, I was hoping that every new update would reveal Mega Man. He was like my dream character. And uh, because, you know, Sonic was in, so why not Mega Man? And it didn't happen then. But years later, at the very beginning of the Smash for 3DS and Wii U hype cycle, I'll never forget that morning. That first trailer for Smash 4, we got Villager, and then it happened. Right after that, we saw Mega Man. And that is a memory that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. It was a genuine dream come true moment for me. My wife still tells me all these years later that she's never seen my face go through the specific emotions it did when I saw Mega Man be revealed for Smash. And I didn't know it at the time, but that was going to kick off years of other reveals across both Smash 4 and Ultimate, and I am so thankful and grateful to have been alive during that this incredible hype phase of each new character reveal. And I know that sounds cheesy, but I am thankful for it. It has informed a lot of my career as a content creator. I remember who I was with and where I was and who I was covering each character reveal with across Smash 4 and Ultimate, and in every single one has been such a special memory for me. Even the characters I don't personally care about, you could still, just being part of the hype and, and feeling the air crackling with the, with the electricity of anticipation of who the character is going to be, I remember every single one, and every single one is special to me. I had that dream come true moment with Mega Man, and I just had it again with Sora from Kingdom Hearts being the last character to be added to Smash Brothers Ultimate. And I even had it kind of in the middle of all this with Banjo-Kazooie, another dream character I wanted. And these are, these are moments that can't be replicated by any other game, by any other series. Smash is very unique in the way that it, it can make people so happy in such a pure way, seeing these characters they grew up with join the, the the most incredible crossover fighting game that has ever existed and and i truly mean it when i when i say i don't think this will ever be replicated again i never thought a roster like the one we see in smash brothers ultimate was ever possible and i don't think it's something we'll see replicated again at least in my lifetime and i am just again so grateful and so thankful to have been alive to experience this incredible hype cycle sustained over so many years. So from the bottom of my heart, Sakurai, thank you so much to you and all of your teams th throughout the years for all the joy and all the happiness you have brought me and so many other people through Smash and all of these different character reveals. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sakurai. Thank you, Mr. Sakurai. Thank you, Masahiro Sakurai. Thank you to everyone. Thank you, Sakurai. Please take a break. You've earned it. Mr. Sakurai, thank you so much for everything that you and your team have poured into this series, truly. Thank you. I would shake your hand, thank you, but I can't yet. So thank you for all of your hard work, Mr. Sakurai. Like, really, genuinely, thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything you've done for all of us. So again, I'd like to thank uh, Masahiro Sakurai, the team, and of course the community for being such a cool part of this experience. So thank you, Sakurai, for all that you've done, which includes giving the internet more of a reason to complain about Fire Emblem. Thank you very much. Now go go take a nap. Thank you, Mr. Sakurai. Thanks, Sakurai. Thank you so much to Masahiro Sakurai and his entire team for creating one of the best video games of all time. Thanks again. I really appreciate all that you do, and your work shan't be forgotten. I'm so thankful for this franchise. I'm thankful for everything Sakurai did. I'm so, so thankful for the entire team. Thank you, Sakurai! Thank you, Sakurai. Thank you so much, Sakurai. We appreciate you for everything. Thank you, Sakurai. Thank you to the team at Sora. Thank you to everybody who helped make Smash what it is. This truly is a special game. Sakurai-san,